All right, guys, another review this week, and this is a bit of a break. iCast just happened. I've been reviewing rods, reels, lures for the past week. Uh, it's all I've had on my head. But I snuck down to Mountain Home, Arkansas, and it's Bass Cat's 50th anniversary. I mean, 50 years. 1971, this company started. And Rick Pierce did the presentation. There's lots of new stuff, but the big thing for all you tournament anglers, all you guys who are serious anglers, is this right here, the boat I'm standing in. This is the new Puma, part of the STS, so soft touch series. And it's got that new hull that came on the Jag when it was re-released, and this is on this boat. And I'm gonna tell you something, this thing is a performer. I'll show you the numbers it was running. We got video of this thing running wide open, but I wanna show you the inside of the boat, because that's the important part. Everyone wants to know what change would catch. We don't have all the final specs yet, but the new Puma comes in at 20 foot six to 20 foot seven, no hull weight, but the big thing, 96 inch beam pulled way forward, a much wider version than the original Puma. Right at the nose when we start up here. Big differences you're gonna notice, the splash well area up at the front. So this is like we always have, this is removable, so if you want your pedal a little further back, no problem. But here they've changed it. Today's anglers, it's all about duels and triple dashes or graphs in the front, and they've actually created a custom setup where you can mount your brackets on two different levels. And really the trick is here, is that they got it to be the right angle. So when you're standing on that trolling pedal, you can actually see them properly without interfering with the trolling motor pedal or anything else. You'll notice right here, there's a new switch. This is to shut off. If you're running something like Garmin's live scope, this is to shut off that transducer so you don't burn it out. And a lightning detector is also standard on the premium models now. So that's a new thing. So lightning strikes within 20 miles of you, it gives you a warning, it changes color. If it continues to get closer, it'll actually audibly warn you that lightning is in the area, which is pretty cool. Over here, they've also changed all the plates, the aluminum plates that used to be that checkerboard look are now a Damascus look, so a Damascus steel look on all the plates. Padded front deck on this one, two seat positions, depending which way you're gonna have your trolling motor pedal, and then the layout. What's new? Big thing are the new, they're calling them slam latches. I call them cool, really super flush. Pop the button, up your doors come. Really a brand new stainless steel latch system, and it's proprietary to Basscat. This is something that's been in development for a lot of years. They've been working on it. You have different locks on the rear doors. It'll be the same key. You don't have to have two different keys. So very cool to close them. You can see it locks. Put that down, click, and it's locked. Very simple. You're not gonna be tripping on uh, lid latches, standing up, any of that stuff. Net locker, net scabbard in the middle, like always. So two storage, large storage in the middle for tackle. If you have a lot of tackle, you can put it on both sides of this. Excellent storage. Again, close the latch, real simple. And then not net lockers or rod lockers on both sides, port and starboard. So a very conventional layout for CAT, very, very similar to what the Puma was before with some new added features, which I love. I absolutely love about this boat. Down here, you get to it, you got dual tool holders in the bigger step, compression latches, large cooler. Guys, it's hot down here. This is Arkansas. I am sweating. I'm a Canadian down in Arkansas and I am absolutely sweating. So having a big cooler, lots of ice helps. Having two coolers is even better. So underneath the center box, you pop this in the back, you've got another cooler under here, and you've got your glove box built in right here. So you can hide your phone, your keys, your wallet, everything you need, your registration papers, all that right there. Storage under the seats as well. So both seats have storage. Fire extinguishers, culling kits, anything you want to keep under both seats, perfect. This is a new thing as well, and I think this has been long overdue. There's a billet aluminum handle right here, and this thing here is for your passenger between the billet aluminum handle on the side, stomp pads for their feet, they can lock themselves in and enjoy the ride. For those of you who fish the Great Lakes, this is a big one. This right here, this monstrous floor drain. That makes a big difference, guys. When you get into those big six and eight foot waves and they start blowing over the bow when you're fishing, this is gonna remove all that water super fast, get to your big bilges, 500 gallon per hour bilges. Uh, the other thing is, you'll see in the other model they, sh they showcased having a new decking for the floor. So 
Uh, reflex flooring is what they're calling it. That will be an upgrade available. And also on the top lids on both front and back, there's a hybrid system now. So you don't have to switch to fiberglass lids like you do if you're using all C-Deck or all reflex. Because they've gone with a carpet with a dovetail where it meets the reflex flooring, uh, it allows them to put a carpet edge. And what's the bonus? Is it weight? Uh, I think with a little bit, it's weight. I think aluminum lids are definitely more durable, but the big thing is they're quiet. When you've got carpet wrapped around the edge, rather than having fiberglass hit fiberglass that you would have with an all fiberglass lid on a fiberglass deck, you get that quietness that carpet gives you. So when you're walking on it, when you're closing your doors, you're not spooking the fish. Console available in multiple varieties. You can run duals with your gauges down the center. You can run flush mount. You can run whatever you want as your console. You can also do removable dual console or have a dual console. Passenger rod holders. Big thing I missed on the front here. This right here. This is again an upgrade for the Puma. And it came from Lynx and it came from, we've seen it in Caracal, Lynx and in Jag. They've added some of that reflex flooring here and it's soft, but the trick here is that you can put your rods on the front deck, you can still open your rod box, and because of that angle, it allows your rods to stay in place without forcing them up and out into the water. Okay, just a small little thing, but having that gap that goes from wide to narrow allows you to keep your rods on the deck comfortably when you're accessing all of your boxes. Back deck. All right, the back deck. There is a lot to talk about in this boat, but Live wells, 42 gallon live wells. Bigger openings on these lids than the original Puma. You can see it's got that extra piece right here. Foam, so insulation, really important, especially if you fish down south or you're fishing in the north and you're catching smallmouth out of super deep water where the water's colder down below. Having that foam on the top helps insulate it. It seals it and they got these latches that are out of the way. The one pet peeve I had about some of my live wells were when the latch was on top of the deck and you get into rough water and everybody fills their live wells up, corks them, the smallmouth would hit themselves or a largemouth would hit themselves on that stainless steel nut and bolt underneath. They don't do that. They hit foam here. So really good live well. You got pump in, pump out, aerator timed with three minutes, five minutes or full on. And you got recirc three minute, five minute full on. Compartments in the back, same thing, behind both seats. You can see here, this is where I like to keep all my jigs, all my heavy stuff, weights, and then you also have this, which allows you access to your power pole pumps. The other thing is all the cat pumps have a filter system built into them and a bypass to flush them out. So you can open the valve, flush them out. You can take that screen out. If you get craw guts or anything caught in it and your pump isn't, this will stop your pumps from catching all that stuff and stopping working. So you can access everything quickly with a removable tray. Very, very cool. And then lastly, the back. I mean, this is the part that really is amazing to me. It's still got the removable lids that we all come to love. You know, one quick little pop and you grab the right lid, take it right out if you have to access it. You have storage on both sides of your tanks. You have access to all your pumps, all your batteries, aluminum battery trays. Uh, you know, it's really simple to work on. Your charging systems in the back, everything is accessible. The last thing you want is in a tournament, you finally get some time off of work and you have a pump problem and then you gotta remove batteries or oil containers or God knows what. This is simple. Everything is always accessible to you. Very, very important. And then lastly, the back end has a new look to it. Bass Cats traditionally had a deeper cut splash well. So this has got this new flat center section. Your fuel selector is here for off, left and right. You can see how nice and neat this makes adding power poles, raptors, whatever you're putting. Everything is clean and out of the way. This one's rigged with a Bob's jack plate, uh, ladder, billet aluminum handrails, marker lights on the back, uh, wake light on this boat as well. And for all you guys that don't like digging under that beautiful hull, remote drain plug. For all you asking, they now have a remote drain plug as well. So. This is the breakdown, guys. This is the new Puma for 2022 from Bass Cat. I mean, I am absolutely floored by this thing. I'll tell you the number. I drove it for the first time today. First pass, 76.6. Second pass, 76.8. Third pass, 77.1. That is with four batteries. That is with fuel. That is with everything. Guys, 
that's it. That's the breakdown. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to learn more about this, go to basscat.com. Check out all their models. But big thing, check out all the upgrades on the new boats this year. There's the Ron, there is a new Bobcat, and there is the new Puma. That's it, guys. Don't forget to click subscribe. Check us out. We do lots of videos every week. Hope you guys are all doing well.